children and water seem to go together like peanut butter and jelly. And why not? The water is fun. But if you think swimming is fun, wait until you try the great activities that dive stores and resorts have to offer. Activities like snorkeling, scuba rangers, supplied air snorkeling, or even scuba diving. But water activities aren't all just fun and games. Each new activity presents its own set of risks. You see, the water is not our natural environment. The air is. So each time you enter the water, there is a risk of an accident that may lead to an injury or even death. Before you begin your new water adventure, there are some risks that you and your parents must be aware of and understand. This video will help inform you and your parents of the risks and responsibilities involved with water activities so you and your parent can make the choice about whether you will participate. The training agency, dive facility and dive leader which offer these activities cannot make this decision. The training agency is responsible for providing quality educational materials while the dive facility and leader are responsible for making sure each activity is supervised and is as safe as possible. The agency, facility, and dive leader are not trained to make decisions about the medical and mental fitness of children. That's the responsibility of you and your parents, and your doctor if necessary. Ranger D. Just like swimming, these water activities require good physical and mental fitness. Well, that doesn't mean you have to be a super athlete, but it does mean you need to be strong and healthy. So if you or your parent are aware of any medical problems that you have, you should consult a doctor before participating in any water activities. And since these activities take place in the water, you need to know how to swim. You don't have to be a great swimmer, but you have to be comfortable in the water. So while you may be as excited as ever about getting involved with snorkeling or scuba diving, your parents must make the final decision about whether you are physically fit, mentally fit, and a good enough swimmer to participate. While snorkeling and scuba diving are all about fun, you also share some of the responsibilities to make sure you have fun and stay safe. Most importantly, you need to listen to your dive leader and follow the rules. Your dive leader is there to help you learn and have fun, so you should always follow directions. Communication is very difficult underwater. Since you and your dive leader can't talk to each other, you will learn some hand signals to help you communicate. It's very important that you look at your dive leader often and that you pay attention to all the signals. If you don't, you may miss out on what your dive leader is teaching. You also need to stay with your group and with your assigned buddy. Your dive leader will assign you to a buddy. You and your buddy will help watch out for each other. Plus, it's more fun to dive with a buddy. When you spend a lot of time in the water, you may start to feel cold, sick, tired, or hungry. It is your responsibility to let your dive leader know how you feel. Remember, your dive leader only knows how you look, not how you feel. If at any time you don't feel like continuing on with the activity, it's okay to stop or to take a break and rest. All water activities depend on some type of equipment to help you see, breathe, float, and move around in the water. Any misuse of your equipment can cause an accident, so you need to follow all rules and take good care of your equipment. If you are lucky enough to get to snorkel or scuba dive in the ocean, you need to remember that some of the plants and animals can sting or bite. The safest rule is to look, but not touch, and to never provoke or harm any marine life. While scuba diving and other water activities all have an element of risk, the instruction you receive will greatly minimize the risk. Each year, millions of people participate in snorkeling and scuba diving activities, and the number of accidents is extremely low. Remember, any activity that adds adventure to our lives also adds some risk. Although the risks can never be completely eliminated, if you take your responsibilities seriously by following the rules, listening to your dive leader, staying with your dive leader and buddy, letting your dive leader know if you're cold, tired, or sick, not abusing or misusing your equipment, staying away from marine life, then you'll certainly increase your chance for safety and a fun time.
Now that you and your parents have been informed of the risks involved with water activities, there may be some specific questions about the activity you will be participating in. You and your parents should talk with your dive leader before signing the parental statement and starting the activity. You and your parents will have to decide on whether you will participate. But if the answer is yes, prepare yourself. The fun is about to begin.